For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. Alright guys, let's do this problem that says if the resultant force acting on the bracket is to be 750 newtons directed along the positive x-axis, determine the magnitude f and its direction theta. So basically what they're telling you is that there is a force acting on the uh, positive x-axis, this is the resultant force, and it's equal to 750 newtons. And it's the addition of these uh, three forces. So what we're going to do is we're going to break down the forces. I'm going to break them down right here. We got, let's call this one F1. Let's call um, this F2. And let's call this F3 to label them. So you got that F1, F2, F3, and Fr. Let's make a line right here. You know that the addition of these three forces is equal to Fr, which is 750i plus 0j. Okay, so let's work with F1 first. F1 has an X component and a Y component. The X component is uh, the X component of F1. It's uh, let me see, 325 right here times five over 13. And that comes out to be 125. And the Y component is 325 times 12 over 13. And that comes out to be 300. So F1 is 125i plus 300j. 125i plus 300j. F2 we don't know but we know it has an x component this is the x component and a y component so let's just put x i plus y j and f3 has an x component and a y component as well and you can see by uh, the magnitude is uh, 600 and cosine of 45 will be the x component right here and the y component is negative because it's going down 600 sine of 45 this comes out to be 424.3 and this comes out to be 424.3 negative Point three i minus four hundred and twenty four point three j. So we're gonna write the numbers right here. Four hundred twenty four point three j. So now the problem becomes very easy. You know that one twenty five plus x plus four twenty four is supposed to be seven fifty, and three hundred plus y minus four hundred and twenty four point three is supposed to be uh, zero. What we got to do is solve for x and for y. So let's do the x first. You know that 125 plus x plus 424.3 is equal to 750. When you solve for x, this is equal to 200.7. And the second equation is 300 plus y minus 424.3 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 124.3. So this tells us that F2, which is the one we're trying to find, is equal to 200.7i plus 124.3j. And this is the Cartesian vector form 
of this vector but they want you to find the magnitude and its uh, direction the magnitude of f2 is given by the square root of the x component square plus the y component square which comes out to be roughly 236.1 and the angle let's call it theta is given by the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component and it comes out to be 31.8 degrees so final answer for the magnitude final answer for the angle that it forms with the x-axis please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you